I mean, trying to balance myself in my sleep. Because my brain, anybody brain don't shut down sometimes? It's like, why my brain won't shut down? I'm just sitting like, go to sleep, Joseph. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Brain just won't shut down. Yeah. But I'm working on, I know I said I'm working, balance. I'm working on when I leave work, leave work at work. Amen. Don't bring work home. That's why when I get home, I don't like to talk about work. How was your day? The same dookie. <laughs> Nothing different. Same thing. Yeah. Same routine. Repetitive. Same stuff. Yeah. What do you do? I clean up after pigs. Same thing. Nothing to do about it. Part of the job. That's why when I come, I won't talk about it. Leave it there. Pick it up when I get back tomorrow. I'm just talking about balance. This area all of us probably got to work on in our lives. You know? You got those people there, they're, um, and we don't see them. They're uh, gym fanatics. They go to the gym seven days a week. Gym rights. Unbalanced. It's unbalanced life. They they so obsessed with being thin and being skinny. Unbalanced life. What I eat, I ain't trying to throw it up. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> What they call them, and what they call them? That's an unbalanced life. Unbalanced. So I just pray that all of us work on that in our lives. Our lives become balanced in every aspect. We love Jesus. We know Jesus is the is the first of everything. Uh, Jesus is our Lord. Jesus is our Savior. Jesus is our King. We understand all of that, but still, you need balance in your life. Have some fun in your life. Amen. Enjoy life. Don't be so saved that you can't smile, that you can't laugh. Mm -hmm. It's very unhealthy. You want a healthy and balanced life. Love yourself. Treat yourself. Be good to yourself. If you work, then nobody tell you what you can't have. You want it and you afford it, go buy it. But keep some balance. Don't overdo it. Am I making sense today? I don't want to holler at you. I just want to talk to you. Balance. In all our lives. We need it. On a daily basis. And by the way, I, I want to say as we uh, close, um, we'll be counseling um, leadership and teachers meeting because I have a, a prior engagement that I uh, got invited to. So, um, But I will give out the literature today before you leave. Uh, just take your literature with you and, and read it. Amen. Amen. So with that, Lord, we thank you today that you are the author and finisher of our faith. Lord, you are the one in control yes, Lord. of our lives. Yes, Lord. And so we just surrender everything to you, Lord. Yes, Lord. You know us from the beginning and to the end. Yes, Lord. And as the Son has said, that you are acquainted with all of our ways. So we pray that as we leave this place today, that we all of us will begin to work on our lives to bring things back in balance. Yes, yes, things where we have overdone it, that we will itemize in our lives. Yes, 
So we just seek your help in these areas. And most of all, Lord, help us not to be in denial. Because when we walk around in denial, we will never get no help. Mm. So help us just to be real with our walk with you. And that we will confess where we have fallen short and what we have done wrong. And we thank you for your word because your word is our balance. And you said, Lord, that if we confess our sins, that you're faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You have given us the formula as the body of Christ. Lord, you told us as believers that if we confess our faults one to another, that we will be healed. Mm. You gave us the formula, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Help us, Lord, to do that that we can walk in victory, that we can walk in freedom, and that we can loose these chains that come to bind us. Mm -hmm. Your word is the formula. You said there is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Lord, you have given all of us believers the remedy to walk a victorious life, to be pleasing in your sight. Yes. To have a joyous life. Yes. To be content, Lord. Yes. Not trying to keep up with the world and their fashions and what they're doing. But what you have already laid down for us as believers. Yes, that you said through your word, Lord, that we can live a godly and righteous life in this yes. present world. Yes, so we thank you for your word today. And we pray that uh, we have said something here to help someone along their way. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we give you praise, we give you all the glory, and we thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you're here today and you believe or you feel that you want me to pray,